Hello everybody! Welcome to another exciting episode of Random Pipe. I'm trying to stay true to what I was talking about. I have a briar pipe. <laughs> I'm smoking that uh, Salvinelli I was working on that I got done. And inside I have some BCA, of course. Um, smoke's great. I am very happy with it. <laughs> got it all done. I had a chance to puff on it uh, the other day, but I figured for the sake of this video, I'd puff on it some more. Just look at that green. Ah, had to do it. <laughs> um, so that one came out really well. I had another, um, <coughs> excuse me, I had another um, restoration I got done this weekend too. And I, I gotta say, I am really impressed with those micro mesh pads, and I feel so stupid I didn't get any sooner. <laughs> they are amazing. And like I said, I got mine from uh, Amazon, and it was ten dollars shipped. And they work, they work fantastic. Um, but I had another state pipe. I kind of want to get my state pipes. I kind of, I kind of buy them in bunches, not necessarily in lots, but for whatever reason, once in a while, I'll be like, I'm gonna get a state pipe, and then I start looking. And I bid on some either on eBay or what it, whatever it would be because I don't find a lot of estate pipes. I think we have like one, we got like four antique stores around here. And very rarely will I ever find an estate pipe at any one of them. And when I do find one, or they happen to have one, a lot of times they're not even in the ballpark as far as price or what, well, what I'm willing to pay for it. You know, somebody else might be willing to pay that. But. You know, it'll be like a no-name pipe and with a hole in the stem, and you know they'll want like twenty-five, twenty-seven dollars for. And so, but I did score some tins, which tins, tobacco tins. If you start collecting them, that's a slippery slope too. <laughs> once you start getting into that, I just bought some once. Uh, the first ones I got just to put on my desk and on uh, my little workbench just to have uh, some to hold some. Uh, pipe cleaners in and stuff now I guess it's turning into a thing <laughs> hmm. but anyways but yeah well usually when I, I'll I get you know I'll just go on eBay and I'll find a few of them and for whatever reason I'll end up buying them <laughs> a few at a time more than just here or there um, and the, the way I notice they kind of work in volleys you know you know, you'll have a lot of them go, we'll say, in five hours, or you'll have a lot of them that are listed for five days out from different people. And there's a certain time when I look, and there's a certain, I, I kind of think of it as the magic hour, and it's a really good time where you can get a lot of good deals on pipes, but it has to be within a certain time period. And for whatever reason, what I've noticed is that within that certain time period of those couple days, if they those auctions come up at that time, the bids are really low. It's just something I've noticed, and so I kind of struck out at uh, the antique stores. Some are a couple of them closed up until summer, so and so that kind of that hour hit, and all the auctions I was in on came through. So I got pretty lucky there. So well, you know, if you guys want to know when time that is to best bid on pipes, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Maybe at some point I will, but it's, I guess you'd call it a system, but it usually pays off very well if I'm looking for some. So I got a few coming. But anyways, like I said, I get them in lots, and usually I have a certain cigar box I put them in. It's a deeper cigar box. I forget the name. And I'll just kind of put them all in there um, and work on them as I feel like it. On that one... That one was sitting in there for a long time. This one I just wanted to get get done. <laughs> I was pretty excited about this one. and But that one was sitting in there for a long time. And I usually, like anybody else, you get them in the, get them in the mail if you get them from eBay. And you just kind of go through that normal first inspection. And I knew the stem was frozen. So I didn't really know the condition inside-wise as far as... Uh, the stem how clean it was and all that i mean the bowl was relatively clean the outside was in phenomenal shape given its ear because typically like this one i the the best i could put my finger on this data this one is probably from the 70s era ish um typically when i get estate pipes i like to 
I like to look in up how you know their age. Um, I like the history when you can find some on some of these companies. And when you start looking at some, some of them gets some of it's weird, some of it gets crazy, some of it you'd be surprised how many are involved with each other and other things. So it's really neat, and I enjoy kind of trying to track down the history on some of these pipe makers. Um, some of it can be really hard to find. You really have to dig, and some of it you'll never know. You just for whatever reason it's it's too bad that some of these pipe well you know the history has gone on them which is like i said sad but some like i said some some it's harder than others um ones that are really easy to age are yellow bulls are fairly easy to age um k woodies are fairly easy to age i actually found a site that uh, someone had gone through and actually broke down all the models and uh, years and styles of all the K. Woody numbers. And um, if you, had, you ever run into something like that, definitely either bookmark it if you're on a computer. I was on my phone and I screenshotted all of them because sometimes when you're digging, you might have to go a couple pages into the Google search and you forget even where that was the next time you want to find it. So. So anyways, yeah, I had this pipe in there for quite a long time and never messed with it. Like I said, the outside condition was good. The stem was oxidized fairly decent. There wasn't really, the stem on the outside was okay, but seeing how it was froze, I was kind of curious because I've had some that have been froze and they're really gunked up in the stem. Because you don't, because what happens sometimes on eBay is they'll kind of do a little bit of cleaning on the, on the bowl just to make it look a little bit nicer, but they'll never clean out the stems and... So you you get your first initial look and you'll think, wow, it's in good shape. And then you take the stem off and you're like, it's just gunked or it's froze on. You're like, holy crap. You know, you can't even get a pipe cleaner through it. So, but no, after I got it on froze, it was in great condition. Great condition. Um, let me put that down. I think smoke's nice. But to be fair, I have some gray bows and some K buddies and, and even a couple yellow bows smoke, <laughs> smoke really nice. So um, here it is. It is an old yellow bull, and the bet it's a four-digit date with the Imperial logo. And the best I could really date this one to um, would be uh, pre-1940s. It uh, more than likely 38, probably not no newer than 1938, just from the Imperial logo and, and the time they stopped using them. I want more with that little circle, but yeah, it cleaned up. Ex you know, I didn't do a whole lot to this bull. I just kind of wiped it down a little bit and. You know, on the inside, it was really clean. It's hard to see on here, but it was really clean. So the only thing really was with it was that the stem was froze and got that off. And even to clean out the stem, it took me, I want to say I only ran about four pipe cleaners through it. And, you know, using both sides of it with the bristles and then one uh, tapered one. And by the time I got to the, would be the, the fourth one, or the, it should be... Yeah, the fourth one on the one side, it came out pretty clean. Then the other side came out real clean. Through the unbristled one through, it came out clean. So I was like, wow. <laughs> Definitely the exception, not the rule, that's for sure. And I used that micro mesh pad on the stem, which came out real nice. There is a fill on there, and there is um, there's like a little scratch here or there. But you know what? I can live with it. This is a great, great condition pipe for its age. I did have to you know put a the logo back in they act, it's actually a pressed in to uh the stem a little bit and a uh, big shout out to uh, a couple of guys on boxer for uh that white grout pen actually worked really well i was in between a couple things really what to do and really all i did was to put that uh imperial with the little crown back in there was i just put some of that grout on a grout used a white grout pen put it on there and then wiped it off quick because it's actually receded in there like i said it looks like it's almost hot stamped with something and that worked great and i did that right towards the end before i really was shining this up so that anything that didn't happen to wipe off would just come off with that sanding so yeah i'm really happy with this <laughs> like i said it's amazing condition for giving its its age um so like i said i'm kind of i guess nerdy with that i just like to know the ages and hunt them down but back to this guy <laughs> anyways um did you guys enjoy the last video it's kind of kind of goofy every once in a while I'll get, I'll get an idea or for whatever reason i just feel like doing a goofy video and if uh you guys like follow my channel <laughs> but didn't follow derek chance derek tance channel 
that video made absolutely no sense to you. <laughs> so I tried in the description, I tried to say that, and I had a link on there to his channel. So you probably guys probably thought I went off my rocker doing that. And it took me quite a bit to get all that hair gel out of my hair from spiking it up. Um, well, he did a funny video a while back called uh, Fartful Podger. And it was kind of a spoof on the Artful Codger. And, and it, there was a VR contest long ago where somebody did that where you had to imitate somebody. And then once in a while someone will do one. And I, I think those are great. I love the goofy videos. I, I, I just think it's awesome when people do like a spoof of somebody else. You know, it's in good taste and it's in good fun. I really enjoy that when people do the spoof videos. And I try to do a goofy one once in a while. So... Um, so hopefully you, you understood it, and otherwise you're like, this guy is just nuts. Um, another thing I've been thinking about doing is adding to the the cop mod and quick, quick tip videos, which I haven't done one in, well, well, it hasn't been that long, but I was thinking about also doing um, maybe a little series of uh, pipe restoration, kind of quick restoration quick tip videos to kind of go along with that, and just some stuff I've learned. Um, so I'll probably do one of those. I was thinking, so some people might find informational. Some of you guys have been doing uh, restorations for a while or already are pretty familiar. You you might not find any, some of the information all that uh, valuable. Um, it's probably a lot of it you're going to know already. So, But uh, watch for those to come. Um, I do have to do another. You guys are going to get like a two-video day. I'm going to have to, I got to do a VR. Uh, I got to do Andy, a VR to Andy. For his uh, lurker thing, and uh, I gotta do it while I remember because I keep forgetting to do it. So I'm gonna get two out today. Like I said, my phone is having real bad storage issues, so I can't. It's really hard for me to. Uh, I used to film more than one video in a day, and typically sometimes because it was just easier because I'd have a, like one day a week um, where I have more time with my contracts and whatnot. So. Um, so I'm not really able to do that a whole lot no more. So like I'm gonna have to film this one, upload it. Probably film my VR one and then upload that and I think what I'll do is then I'm right away I'll probably just film the first in that little series about quick tip restoration quick tips for anybody that's new or getting into it So I'll probably film that because I gotta upload them delete them film it, delete it And then I'll probably film that one save it on my phone upload it tomorrow So you guys just I'm not bombarded with a bunch of videos for me taking up your your feed and then they kind of get lost but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm kind of enjoying a nice day here. It's a little overcast, but it, it's getting around to the 50s, so life is good. <laughs> so I'll leave you with every day is a good day. Just try missing one. So hopefully Monday is going to be a little nice to you.